On this 2015 Chevrolet Cruze, we're going to review and install a current Class 1 inch and a quarter receiver hitch, part number C11282. This is what the hitch looks like when it's installed in the Cruze. Take a first look at it and you can see that we really can't see much of a hitch at all. So we'll go underneath the vehicle a little bit more to go ahead and see the details. This is our inch and a quarter opening right here. It has a nice reinforcement collar. We have a safety chain tow loop on the bottom here, which will work with a variety of safety chain hooks. Now our hitch uses a half inch hitch pin, which does come with the hitch pin and clip. And the crossbar of a hitch is above a receiver right here, and it's completely hidden from view from outside. And this goes up, eventually goes up into the frame and uses existing holes with no drilling required, and it comes with all the hardware necessary to install. This has a tongue weight, which is a weight that pulls down on the hitch of 200 pounds and a pull weight of 2,000 pounds. Now always double check your owner's manual to make sure your vehicle can carry these kinds of weights. Next, we'll go ahead and give you a couple of measurements to help you out in selecting some accessories, such as a bicycle rack or a cargo carrier. From top of receiver opening down to ground will be about 11 and a quarter inches. And from the center of a hitch pin hole to the edge of a bumper will be about six and a half inches. Next, we'll go ahead and show you how we installed it. To install our hitch, we need to get our vehicle ready. On, our, on, this Chev on the Chevrolet Cruze, it's actually a pretty easy setup. All we gotta do is find our mounting locations on the frame, which will be this hole here and this hole here. Now this is the hardware we're going to install on the frame of the vehicle. Now we just got done looking at the passenger side. Everything's gonna to apply to the same thing over on the driver's side. And our hardware is gonna be the same in all four locations. It's gonna be this carriage bolt and this block and our bolt leader here. This will help us install it into the frame. Let's go ahead and install our hardware. We'll install it in this location first. So we'll take our bolt leader, run it through the hole we're going to use, and out to this larger hole towards the back. And if you need to, you can bend the wire to help guide it. Next, we'll take our block here. I'm gonna thread it onto the bolt leader, and just push it up into the frame. And then, we'll take our bolt, and that will thread onto the bolt leader. It will push this whole assembly up into the frame. And then we'll pull out the hole we're going to use. Next, we'll go ahead and take off our bolt leader. We're going to repeat the same process for this hole here. Now we'll go ahead and take a look at the driver's side. Now on our driver's side here, we got our exhaust. And some models also have a heat shield that covers up the frame right here. Fortunately for us, we don't have to deal with that. If we did have a heat shield in the way, we just have to trim it just to get access to our holes. So we'll go ahead and install the hardware just like we did on the passenger side. Now if you need to, you can go ahead and lower the exhaust by unbolting the hanger bracket. But I found there's plenty of room right here to work with. Now we can go ahead and put our hitch into place. We're gonna go ahead and take the driver's side of a hitch and I'm gonna place it on the exhaust. I'll slide it up over the top and then raise the passenger side up. If you can, slide the hitch forward to pinch the bolt so it doesn't move and we can install the flange nuts. Now we'll just loosely install them, then we'll go back to the other side. So we'll go ahead and lift up off our exhaust and onto our hardware and install flange nuts. Again, we're keeping everything loose for now. Next, we'll go ahead and take our hitch and move it left to right while it's still loose and center up with the rear of the vehicle. Once we have it centered up the way we want it, then we'll go ahead and tighten down the bolts. Now to tighten down our hardware, we'll be using the 11 16 socket. After our bolts are tightened down, we'll go ahead and use a torque wrench and torque the bolts down as specified in the instructions. All right, with our bolts torqued down, that'll finish it for our install. And with that, that'll finish it for the current class one inch and a quarter receiver hitch, part number C11282 on this 2015 Chevrolet Cruze.